So we go from the Bayou now to the main line. Fans on Villanova's campus riding that emotional roller coaster. There were some ups, but definitely more downs. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is live with reaction. Jasmine. Don, things are quiet now on campus. This game not going the way students hoped it would, but they tell me they are still holding their heads high. From cheers. Let's go, go, go. Let's go. Here, everybody loves basketball, so I was expecting it to be deep, and it's deep up yes. there, so I'm happy. No deep. To tears. I'm feeling all of the emotions right now. I know this is Colin and Tremaine and Demir's last season, and to have it end like this is really a shame. The wild ride that was the Wildcats' journey to the Final Four has come to a halt. Kansas beating Villanova to advance to the NCAA championship. To be honest, uh, it was expected, but I, I appreciate that we're all here. You know, this is what really matters. We're all here as a campus, win or lose and we have each other's backs. Saturday in a gym filled with about 4,500 supporters, students watched with pained expressions as the Jayhawks held on to the lead. I grew up a Kansas fan, so this is like, it's bittersweet. I was about to tear off, honestly. Seeing Colin Gillespie cry, I, a little tear like almost fell down my face, but they're just like, they work so hard, and I hope they're proud of themselves. And even though there'll be no more watch parties on Villanova's campus this year, students say there were no losers here. Absolutely. Final four, only four in the nation. I'm happy we made it to the final four. It actually like brightened my day up a lot. Because there's always next year. Still a good game. Still proud of the cats. Proud to call myself a Villanovan. And it was not all doom and gloom. The celebration continued with food trucks and music as the students wait for the next March Madness. We're live in Villanova. Jasmine Payu, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Dom? Jasmine, thank you.